What's up everybody, my name is Trophy the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Thronebreaker The Witcher Tales. We're still in Edirne, we just cleared out a bit of a monster nest and uh, after talking to our companions we learned a lot more about them and we've used them for the very first time in their proper form. So egg is actually more useful than we thought and uh, yeah we have this little encampment right here which actually houses a few people and we get a bit more- ooh 27 recruits! That's nice. Do you need to find Nimoy? Okay. Nothing else. I thought it was a bit of a joke there, but... Must have been very serious, because of course the story is turning a bit more grim. And we get more recruits from this banner as well. And 28 more! I feel like the game is giving us resources for some reason. I'm just gonna wait with... Using them. arrived at an ancient, half desiccated beach. Its trunk sat atop a tangle of thick roots, and scraps of paper covered with tiny scribblings fluttered over it from top to bottom. Travelers crowded all around barefoot refugees, bony pilgrims, peddlers with armored escorts, and shifty eyed men with the haggard look of deserters. The Wayfarer's Beach, Rayla said. Travelers of all sorts swap tales here. Perhaps we can glean something about our enemy's movements. Or paint the enemy a clear picture of our own. Gascon interrupted. Nilfgaardian spies no doubt flock to this tree like flies to particularly pungent dung. Okay, so indeed, we can either learn something from it, or they're all lies posted by the Nilfgaardians, of course. We can either send the scout, approach the Wayfarer's Beach, or bypass it. Let's go with the middle way here and send a scout he out to reconnoiter. to proceed cautiously. She pitched camp in a nearby clearing and sent a scout dressed as a peddler to investigate the Wayfarer's Beach. Yet long hours passed with no sign of the soldier. Gods be damned! The Queen snarled. Reynard, send some men to follow his tracks. Okay, that's not really what I wanted to do, but... The Lyrians found the scout's body in the woods a few leagues from the Wayfarer's Beach. His corpse revealed clear signs of drawn-out, cruel torture. Neve could only hope he had managed to hold something back from his captors. Okay, so clearly not such a good choice there. We lost our scouts and... They got a lot of information from him, probably. So that's not good. Definitely not good, but... Uh... As promised, I'm going to keep all of my choices this time, because, yeah, it was just a, a sad, a sad mistake from my end. So that's, uh, from, from now on, every decision we make is a hard one. So, your majesty, a traveling merchant has humbly invited you to browse his wares. He wishes to be rid of his stock as soon as possible. He is prepared to offer a sizable discount. So, perhaps he wishes to buy something from us, or let's make use of his occasion. I think we should make use of it. Because uh, we get gold from every encounter automatically. And yeah, let's just let's just get the wood. I'm guessing we're going to be able to use that wood sooner rather than later. So uh, moving on, let's check the notice board. And not much else. We have a puzzle a bit further on. And one question mark at a bridge. But this area seems to be a bit more inhabited. Ravens and... Ravens and beasts. The grain away in my shack. But I'm too fearful to return there. Where suppose they've gone? Ravens are always Okay. So he has hidden something near his shack. Is this the road we need to go, by the way? Yeah, I did I'm hoping I didn't miss anything before that. There's ways to go around every area here, but I don't really see anything useful. So the map doesn't really indicate this, but to the south there's actually another chapel here which we can use to upgrade our morale back to the max. There we go. And now we can move back forward towards Rosberg. Okay, and we get Soon stopped. Soon after entering Edern, Meave ordered a halt. She wished to sit with Black Rayla and plan their onward march. For Rayla knew every path in the realm, including ones not drawn on any map. They were hard at work when shouts rang out among the tents. One final time I shall say it. As your senior officer, I order you to depart the training grounds. Or, or what? Pray tell, you'll have me drop and give you 50. What is the meaning of this? Yeah, I expected something like this would happen. It does happen sooner than I anticipated, but 
Your grace. You're gonna have to make a choice. I had thought to use this interval to drill the recruits, teach them to walk, to maneuver, Gascon. A world of difference. In perfect harmony must soldiers traverse the field of battle. Otherwise, they could break formation. The enemy would penetrate our lines, and our army could be slaughtered. And therein lies the rub, dear Reynard. Army. This is no army, but a band of partisans. If we do not adapt to the rules of desperation, if we adhere instead to the Academy Codex, we shall lose. Laying traps, wiping tracks, that's what we should teach the lads. Not marching to the beat. All my eye. A fighting force must have discipline. Otherwise, tactics and planning are impossible. A soldier must obey orders. So they both have a point, which is of course, god damn it. So either calm down both of you, don't get so upset, rain it, or show some respect. I feel like this game does not allow you to go the middle route. Um, I've been punished a few times now for taking the kind of easy middle route, so calm down both of you is a bad idea, I think. Because they will both be mad, and if I choose one or the other, we can lighten up at least one of them. I like Reynard, but I feel like he would be less quickly to anger than Gascon. And I feel like the wording of the verse against Reynard is easier than what we should say to Gascon. Because Gascon, we're going to force him to show respect. He doesn't want to. But Reynard, we might be able to calm down. So. Douse your outrage, Reynard. Gascon makes a valid point. Change we must accept, embrace even. Our resources are limited. We cannot do everything at once. Prepare your proposed plans for training the recruits, and I shall decide which we shall follow. Clear? Then get to work. Okay. So we just made a decision, and we have no idea how that will impact any of this, which is, of course, Difficult at the same time as it is really, really interesting. I, re I really like that. Because we don't immediately know what the consequences of this will be. I'm hoping Reynard is a smart man and doesn't just fuck off because we told him to shut up for once. Um, as, I, as I said, I really like Reynard. He's a very nice guy. But we need to keep everybody happy. Yeah, so the fields are nothing but ash, because this area has been completely decimated by the Nilfgaardians. I do have a bit more resources here and there, but it's really, really sparse. And there's a golden chest on the other side of the water there. Let's check this out. Proclamation. Inhabitants of Brumfell are hereby ordered to vacate the village by nightfall. Failure to comply will result in punishment of the highest order. Hail Gerzer, Duke Ardal Abdehi. Uh, yeah, so it's the same asshole we've been hearing about. For a while now. Let's talk to this man. Our oats not suit the Emperor. However, did our oats and other plantings harm him? Black clads brought them monsters here, I'm sure of it. Your Majesty, I beg ye, let me join your ranks. Nothing but hunger and death await me here. Okay, there we go. Another recruit. For listening to this man's plea, I'm just gonna take a look around and get some resources and we'll continue after that. Oh god, that's a freaking white. That is, that is a wraith, a wraith, a white, whatever you want to call it, that thing over there. That looks creepy as fuck. Let's just move on and talk to this fellows. Your Grace. Meave heard Reynard call out from behind her. The scouts returned. Claims to bear an urgent message. The Queen halted her horse and waited for the soldier to reach her. He abandoned all formalities and jumped straight to the point. Lady, a black-clad caravan, armed to the hilt, rides this way. To believe the rumors, they're hauling a load of war loot back south. Reynard gave the soldier new orders, then turned to Meave. Hmm. Sounds like a prime opportunity to replenish our coffers. Indeed it does, so let's attack the Nilfgaardian caravan. Indeed. An opportunity we cannot ignore, the Queen said. Your unit will block their path. Gascon and his men will hide in the woods and strike their flanks, while I shut the trap, attacking from behind. Their plan established, Meave gave the signal to move out. A brief moment later, the fight began. So, at first glance, this seems like a pretty easy battle. Just an Elgardian convoy. 
Imperial Transport, upon realizing they could not avoid a fight, the Nilfgaardians stopped their wagons. Not all of them, however, took two defensive formations. One soldier remained with each cart. They stood with backs to their attackers, their eyes trained on the cargo. What mysteries hid in these wagons? What treasure so precious to abandon self-defense in the midst of battle? Expose the trap. So short in battle, special rules. So one round. And that usually means that, hmm, interesting. Uh, so Black Rayla, definitely keep that in hand. Um, maybe get Egg. If I can get Egg out here as well, that would be nice. But I don't know what to swap for that. So I think I'm just going to go with Egg in the deck and see if I can pull him out. So let's just go with you it. Must drive them into the ambush. Follow me. Okay. So expose the trap. But... So if we destroy the caravan, Meave loses the battle. Uh, whenever this unit takes damage, move it one position to the right. And now we have caravan escorts. And Car Gascon's ambush. Trigger an ambush when you move a caravan next to this card. Okay, good luck. Well, luckily we have all those uh, uh, slingers. If it just takes damage, when this unit takes damage. So I can just put the row on fire, I suppose. Wondering how he will move it back then. Because do I win if I get that... I smell a leak. There we go. If I get that... I guess we'll see. We'll see about that. Let's just end... Hmm. Let's just end the turn for now. I want to see what happens. So it does move forward. This is my now. Um, whenever an ally appears, gain one charge, so that's what we already know. And apparently that horse is moving to the right, which is fine. I wonder what the difficulty is in here then. So you can use the Sightman and use Rivian the Rivian Broadsword on the Caravan Escorts, which damages them all by four and gets the, rid of that armor. And then the turn. Wise choice. Fire didn't trigger this time, which is fine by me. Let's see. Let's just use the regiment drummer to I'm see what we can pull time next time and end the turn. Every time the fire triggers, that happens. So trigger an ambush when you move a caravan next to this card. Okay. Oh, that's damaging my drummer. Uh, so let's just use it. You know what? I just want to see what that ambush actually is. So let's just use. The stray slingers. Ever have a score, knock out one of your teeth. And let's do uh, all of that. And damages to Arbalest dudes. Sure took your time. Thought you'd forgotten about me. And there we go. We no! have three strays oh! infiltrators. Okay, so we need to force units next to that next time, which is fine by me. And let's get another excitement out here. Bye to put on the field and end the turn. So I need to put units uh, in between those infiltrators. Okay. Um, and I get three strays cavalry in my hand as well. So... First off, the slingers. So we're gonna use the slingers to get the those two dudes. Oh, wait a second, that would be cool. Get one over here and then pull that one. Yeah, what happens if I do this? Oh, that seems interesting, doesn't it? Let's end the turn and see it go over here. That's 15, and that's 15 as well. Look at that. We just took that battle by storm. Oh, and Gascon is actually in our hand now as well. So we do get damaged by those Arbalest. And get damaged a bit more. But we do have that healing later on as well. Um, let's start marking enemies. So let's mark the unit. I'm gonna start marking the black infantry arbalests and end the turn. Off to the front yet again. So I did make a bit of a mistake to fill that row, 
but uh, no biggie, no biggie. Um, let's just use Black Rayla. There we go. And then the turn. And then we can use Black Rayla to play whatever we want, but I want to use the Forager first because otherwise my rows are going to be too full. So let's use the Forager and get that up there. Then ah, I could have done that a little bit different, but never mind. Let's. Um, hmm, I can actually use Meave again. So let's just do that on the 14 guys. And there we go. And more loyal abilities, but those guys go up as well. And I maybe end the turn. Now, um, I think I'm gonna use Rayla to pull another. Oh, look at Egg. Holy crap. Um, yeah, Egg it is. So he's gonna damage. He's gonna do 54 damage. God blast it. Or not. Manticore trophy on the battlefield. Whenever an ally takes damage, strength itself by two instead of one. Oh. So the Manticore trophy adds the strengthening effect, and the monsters add the damage dealing, which is actually fine by me. Because now we're gonna use the livery and Merlot to boost one of those little guys. And I won't have wasted a single spot. There we go. And I use Gascon to finish Nothing it off personal, with a I very high you. number. And there we go. That was a very high number we ended with there. Victory on the caravan. Let's see what we got from that. Their plan ended in success. The Nilfgaardians crushed. As soon as the dust had settled, Neve tore the canvas off the nearby wagons to see what precious loot they had so carefully guarded. She expected to find gold, jewels, or exquisite silks. Instead, she saw dirty, terrified figures bound in chains. Slaves, Reynard muttered. Their precious cargo. Slaves. Behold the glorious future the Empire brings us. Yeah. Because we know that, of course, because the Nilfgaardian Empire... They have some good ideas, but yeah, they're basically Nazis. Neve ordered kind the of. prisoners freed and discovered they were Adernian peasants on their way to dig canals and dredge swamps as forced laborers. You are free. You can return to your homes, the Queen said. If she expected words of thanks and gratitude, she was in for a disappointment. What homes, my lady? asked one of the peasants, holding back tears. Took our land, they did. Nothing we have now. Not a rag to wear, not a crumb to eat. Leave us, we die. Soldiers don't do us in, monsters will. Us human hunger and cold don't get us first. The Queen was about to answer when she heard Gascon, standing behind her, whisper, Before you make any rash promises, please, some maths. Dozens of hungry mouths to feed, and weak bodies to defend, twice as many tired legs to wait for. While war rages all around, you do realize you cannot save everyone. We do realize that, but I'm not going to listen to Gascon too much, because of course he still is a bandit lady. A cruel man, so he would of course uh, give us that advice. So I think we w need to let the freed slaves join us. We might even get some sightmen out of this, to be honest. I attacked this caravan hoping to fill my coffers, the Queen said. Instead, I have only secured a new drain upon them. But, very well. In these ill times, we northerners must help our own. Women and children in the wagons. The men shall march alongside to the rear. I warn you, if you cannot keep pace, we shall leave you by the roadside. Move out! The Queen's gaze momentarily caught the eyes of an old woman her soldiers were helping onto a wagon. Tears of gratitude poured down her soot-stained face, across hard lines left by years of destructive toil. Look at that. Neve was convinced she had done the right thing. Indeed, I, I'm pretty sure we did the right thing. Um, we didn't gain or lose anything at that point, which is fine by me. We do get a bit more resources from these things. And I feel like since we're going over 4,000 again, I should take a little look at or upgrade possibilities. So I would love to upgrade my existing units, but I feel like the first thing we need to do is upgrade the soldiers quarters so we can increase the recruit gap. 
just to add a few more possibilities to our deck. So I'm going to do that now next. And I hope that leaves us with enough resources to do whatever, well, handle whatever comes our way. So there we go. The command tent has been upgraded. Well, the soldier's quarters have been upgraded a bit. So now we can upgrade our deck a bit further. But I'm just going to check out the royal tent really quickly. And we got another report. So let's check out the Nilfgaardian letter. From Senior Sensor Berwin Epklenich to Sergeant Dilwyn and Aleri. As ordered, I have acquired 30 live Nordlings in Dernian province. Breakdown as follows. 13 males, 7 females, 5 elders and 5 children. Suitability of elders for labor will be determined at camp. If the verdict is negative, they shall be removed from the convoy. Long live the Emperor. So just a dry, well, overview of the people they uh, brought with them. Which is really, really sad. So let's just check out the command tent. So there we go. Added a f an alchemist, a stray infiltrator, a field medic, and another stray slinger. And that's pretty much it. So we just added a few more soldiers. We can now swap those out if we get any stronger cards later on. So uh, a very powerful deck indeed. So moving on. So this place has been entirely scorched. But it seems like we have a puzzle battle with ghouls awaiting us as well. And since it's a puzzle battle, we don't lose any morale, and morale doesn't really matter. So let's just take a look in here. Amidst the rubble, the people of Edern led prosperous lives, a fact which was reflected in the quality of their homes. Ceramic stoves, hard oak floors, exotic Saracanian tapestries. Yet now, all lies in ruin, and monsters have supplanted the former tenants. Eliminate all foes. Okay. One round, and we have an interesting opponent against us again. So we have Scorch, Rivian Sappers, which we can yeah, damage a unit by two if it was destroyed. Repeat this ability. Every two turn on turn start, consume the top unit from your graveyard. And deploy, consume the unit on the right and boost south by an additional three. Boost unit on the right. Every turn on turn start, summon a necker on this row from your deck. So this is going to keep going unless I'm smart about this. So there are gates of footmen in the graveyard. So they're going to... The one in the back, the grave hack, is going to just boost itself by three every time. Let's just try a few things out. If I attack, use a Rivian Sapper to damage one of the Neckers. Going to need um, three buckets of nails and a What happens of then? Then the Rivian Sapper again. Don't you worry yourself, your grace. We'll get it done in no time. And then that. So he, he goes up by three every time. So if I can keep the Knackers at one, in the mort, I think I should be able to do this like this. So now, in two turns, this should all be over, right? So if I destroy it's the last right necker, big and beautiful, and then the why did that go to four? Oh yeah, by one and boost itself by an additional three power. Okay, let's try that again. Damage the first necker, and then the turn. Then damage. Oh, this is even better. If I damage He's the right good levy, front necker and, necker, and then this one again, we get to 15. Then if I damage the necker in front, I get it to 1. And then now we get... Another Rivian Sapper destroy the Necker and then damage the Al Ghoul, which gets us to 13 as well. And they both have 13, which means if we use Scorch, it's all over. There we go. Alright. Very nice puzzle there. And that's that. So Al Ghoul's dealt with. And then we find the letter Inhabitants of Lapisfeld. As you know, Adern has been betrayed. Our forces taken by surprise now face severe shortages. I urge all who were able to support the war effort with a donation. Vokmir, son of Zanek, has been authorized to supervise the collection. Donations must be brought to this mill, to his mill, before the end of his week. From there, they shall be delivered to the soldiers in need at Rosberg Fortress. Major 
Mayor Godzimir. So yeah, they were being uh, drained of all resources just to provide for the war, which is uh, very sad and yeah, they were destroyed anyway by the Nilf Guardians, which yeah, kind of breaks your heart a little bit. So we can slip in between the houses here and there's another a golden chest over here. So let's grab that. And we got Black Rayla in Gwent, but animated because I think I just have her normally as well. Uh, she's not as powerful in there, but uh, still, thank you, Gwent. So now, I think we've been through every village over here. If it's if I missed anything, we'll sure return here later on. Uh, this seems like a, an open barn. I can't really do anything with it. So we need to get to Rosberg, and I think that's going to be further to the north or northeast a bit. Because, oh wow, it's actually a lot more open than the other map, the Lyria map. And the resources are a bit more spread apart, but yeah, look at the devastation. They really did a good job in portraying this. And then the bridge, we took care of the Nilfgaardian convoy, but this also seems to be, uh, yeah, occupied. Interesting. So we have a new deck. So I'm actually wondering if we should knock on the door there. Might not be the smartest idea. Let's check this out. So yeah, the two question marks are... Yeah, the question marks are surrounding this little village. And I'm wondering if that is even Rosberg. Let's take a look. As Meave neared Gatberg, her eyes were drawn at once to the black pennants flying over its palisades. Nilfgaard's penance. Her scouts found the city's buildings intact, its streets unstained by blood. Black-clad soldiers could be seen guarding storehouses holding loot pillaged from nearby settlements. Curiously, these soldiers were very few in number. That sounds like a trap. The gates stand open. Clearly the Imperials expect no attack, giving us the element of surprise. We can take back the city and... And make off with the gold. Gascon finished. Um, bypass Gatberg or attack the city. I feel, feel like this is an ambush. I should probably, because I keep doing, yes, of course we do, but what happens if we fail something like this? Okay, guess we don't really have a choice. Neve attack the city. hated Nilfgaard and needed gold to maintain her army. Two very good reasons to attack Gatberg. Her decision made, she ordered her men to prepare for battle. Now the invaders would have to try their hand at defending. Larvan! I say to nothing! Here we go. Let's see if this is as uh, terrifying as I think it will be. The queen had feared so the Battle of Gatberg had feared her soldiers would not court death for the sake of an Edirdian city. After all, why risk one's neck for a neighbor's home when you have yet to reclaim your own? Nonetheless, Meave's infantry fought ferociously, never breaking. In the face of Nilfgaard's onslaught, the trifling differences among Lyrians, Temerians and Kedwenis no longer mattered. Ultimately, they were people of the north and they must answer each other's call. Attack weaker units. Special rules and shorten battle. We're gonna have to check out that field. One round. And I have no idea what would be best here. Uh, I think we need to attack weaker units. So I think the Lyrian Horn will be better than the Morana Runestone. Don't need the Sightman because they're not really useful. I guess this is supposed to be it. Yeah, we're gonna have to do it with this. There we go. They feel at home here, the North Guardians. Let's show them they're wrong. So there we go. Egg just transformed into Divine Inspiration. So we get a two strength every time an ally takes damage. What is this guy's ability? Visiting Ambassador or to strengthen all allies by one. Apparently you can only do that once. Fair enough. Let's start off with a war wagon. Can't take any more. And then the turn. 152. 154. Or can he do that every time? No, he can only do that once. After two allies appear, boost out by six and gain resilience. We know what that does. Let's see. So I have a lot of damage dealers, but I need three units to actually make take advantage of that. So let's just use the Stray's Infiltrator and put that... You know what? Is it left or right? Unit on the right. There we go. We got a job to do. 
Because he's going to boost himself. Boost out by six. I'm going to take that 13 then. Scrubbing duty again. Oh, and there God. goes the armor on that guy. No signs of fighting. These horses must have opened the gates for the black lads. So we haven't been attacked just yet. So that makes me wonder if we're actually going to be attacked eventually. So let's just put Gascon on the field just Quick so he's, painful, he's there. And then the turn. And we get that 18. Okay. Then I think we can actually set a unit's power equal to the units on its left. We can either do that or we can start using the slingers to damage a few things. Might be the that best the option one here. One, two, three. And damage them all. And they're moving around so Gascon is boosted as well. Life is mine now. Okay, Gascon to a uh, hit before damage hit. That was interesting. Um, let's just keep using the slingers and see how far we'll get. Because Egg, of course, keeps strengthening himself. Um, and I'm wondering if I need to use the Forager now, if I'm going to use him on Egg. I think Egg, the Forager, and the Lyrian Merlot need to be my final, uh, final attack. So if I just use... The unit on its left. Set up unit's power equal to the unit on its left. So we need to put something lower. Can I actually do that on myself? Greetings. What oh, I it? can't. Okay, we're gonna do this then. I was hoping I could do that with the alchemist itself, but apparently not. Praise be to the great sun! Holy crap! So, immune, whenever an ally is destroyed, this unit loses 25% of its current power. And it's 78. Um, that is interesting. It's a lot of power. Um, and you know what? Let's use the Lyrian Horn. Which damages all of those by two and then we can use Meave to destroy our, the, all the Arbalests but I should actually wait on that I think let's just end the turn because of course I get bonuses every time somebody damages my units because Egg goes up and I'm gonna yeah, use Egg as my final my final ability so there we go Egg goes to 33 I think that's gonna be enough. Let's just use Meave now. Um, let's put Egg on the field, in the back. Prepare to so fight. It's nice if and snugly. Honor. Then use the broadsword and put that on the black army. Arbalests. There goes the health of the commander down the drain. And the turn. And now we're going to use the Forager on Egg and then the Lyrian Merlot on the rest. So we can't damage us anymore, I think, except there might be something in his hand, of course. Let's just use the Forager on Egg. That's 43. And now we're going to use the Lyrian Merlot to boost uh, that light infantry thing. By 43. So, uh, there we go. And... Pulse! So we have a lot of advantage here. To the front yet again. And he's just strengthening everything, so fair enough by me. And just one damage for everything. Yep, there we go. We won the battle. So Gatberg is ours now. The Battle of Gatberg ended in Meave's victory, much to its inhabitants' displeasure. While she examined the Nilfgaardian storehouses, the city's mayor an elderly gentleman with a walrus moustache requested a private audience. Your Grace, I am old. Kill me, you'll merely save my gout the trouble. So I'll be frank. You've but few men. You'll not spare a one to defend the city. When you ride off, the Imperials will retake Gatberg, peer into their looted storehouses and seek revenge. You will be far off while we shall be oh so terribly near. The old man creaked down onto his knees and gripped the hem of the Queen's coat with knobby fingers. Your Majesty, I beg you, leave the gold. 
or the streets of Gatberg will flow with the blood of our women and children. Wow. Meave contemplated what to make of the fellow. Damn Should it. he be praised for his forethought and concern for his townsmen, or condemned for cowardice and insolence? Black Rayler, however, had no such doubts. Traitors all. Small wonder the town's untouched. Must have opened the gates wide for the southern scum. Now they want us to let them fill their pockets with plundered gold. Hmm. This is another tough decision, but... Because, of course, he has a point. We won't leave anybody here to defend the city, and the Nilf Gardens will take it back in a few days. Um... Will they try to take that out on the people there? I don't think so. They need the people in those cities. Well, they're gonna probably kill a few people. But it's not their fault that it was retaken. I'm gonna take the gold, because we really need the After gold. After a moment's hesitation, Meave had her soldiers load the stolen gold onto their wagons. As you pointed out, Mayor, my army is small, which is why I need gold to expand it. The Mayor said nothing. He bowed to the queen, then hobbled off, leaning heavily on his cane, as if this short exchange had cost him years of life. It probably did, because I, I believe the man. I, I'm, I'm genuinely feeling for him, but still, he did leave the gates just wide open for the Guardians to come in. And he probably didn't lift a finger to defend his own people here. Um, that's a... Fields. Oh, we have a bit. Oh no, that's that's the rate the rate puzzle. Uh, because I'm gonna take a little break after this. Uh, so thank you guys enormously for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode where we'll probably <laughs> try to defeat that noon rate. It looked like a noon rate, might have been a night rate or a, a specter of some kind. But yeah, we're gonna fight a ghost next episode. So I uh, hope you guys look forward to that because I definitely do. Okay, see you guys next time. Goodbye.